Hey, you're right. <laughs> he changes the rules all the time. Yeah. Hey, welcome everybody Woo. to our podcast. Jerome, what number is this? 7,000? 77. 77. Pretty close. 77. We got a special guest today. Uh, we're not going to do an intro because she kept it short and sweet, so we're just going to get to know her as we do the podcast. But before we get started, let's talk about our sponsor of the month, The Banner. Behind our guest, the new Winnipeg Dodge Chrysler, servicing Winnipeg, Headingley, and surrounding areas. There are many reasons to choose Winnipeg Dodge as a dealership to trust with your vehicle. Employing only highly trained technicians that use certified parts from the manufacturer, we make servicing your vehicle a simple and pleasant experience. From your initial auto search online until you drive off our lot in your new or used vehicle, Winnipeg Dodge Jeep Chrysler Ram is excited to be your preferred auto partner. Contact them at 204-774-4444. There's a lot of fours in that. So before we got started, we were talking about circumcision. I'd like to Mm. keep this conversation going, (laughs) okay? Because I feel it's interesting. It's a hot topic. (laughs) Uh, I'm not going to ask you if you're surfing size, <laughs> but the reason we're talking about it is... Jerome, be- you could tell him. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why we're talking about it is because uh, Carla's Jewish, and in order for her husband to be married to her, mm-hmm. he had to get circumcised, mm-hmm. just part of uh, the Jewish religion. Correct. Correct? Correct. So at the ripe old age of 33, Three. Oh, wow. this man sat on a couch uh, and <laughs> go ahead, tell, explain it to us how this went down. Okay, this, what kind of like, kind mind blowing for me. does this guy have yeah. that comes over? Like, just like, I, I want this job. How much is he getting paid? No. Uh, okay. So he had to go to the hospital for his circumcision okay, because it was, so. it was yeah. actually considered an operation. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, but is it elective? Like this is a cosmetic thing? No, it is. It it's truly stitches everything. It's but look closer, girl. Because for me, um, just because of my background being Jewish, mm-hmm. um, I believe in the health positives mm-hmm. for circumcision. Whereas some people, absolutely, like they just think it's you know as bad as you know. I don't know what the negative is. <laughs> yeah. What is the negative to uh, uncircumcision? Like you, you might get um, what dirt in there, or or like what is what well, are we yeah, concerned? If you don't, if you don't, if you have the skin, yeah, stuff gets trapped. Yeah, yeah it could be infection. Uh, if you figure that, uh, so a Jewish boy, eight days old, mm-hmm. gets circumcised, mm-hmm. they will grow up feeling one way. Okay. Okay. And of course, I'm not a boy, so whatever. <laughs> yeah. But um, say for my husband, mm-hmm. he was one way for 33 years, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden, it was different. So did he did he give you a description as to what one way felt, and then the other way did, or didn't? It was. Was it freeing? Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> it was actually he was free the man. Like, free. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact word. <laughs> yeah. I guess I don't know. I'm circumcised, have been all my life, so I'm not sure what it was would be uh, prior to that. So I guess it's the risk, risk of bleeding, infection at the site, but it doesn't. There's no real. I can't see like protests against people getting circumcised. Yeah, here. well, I know there is. I think it's more of a, a not, um, you know, people are like, oh, just why do you natural. get Botox? Yeah, why exactly. Do you, yeah. yeah. Well, why and do you they do any also sort of think surgeries? of it as you know the genital mutilation. Yeah. Oh, I see. So they that lump it together. That kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, but it's for us, it's. It's tradition, it's religion, and... So much different than a boy getting his foreskin cut off than a girl getting her clitoris cut off <laughs> in a different country. Like, I would say that's completely different, right? I would say I would agree so. with that. Would you agree with that? Yep. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. Uh, always talking about a penis or farts on our podcast. We got mm-hmm. the first one out of the way. <laughs> so, Carla, you used to be way heavier than you are right now. Yes. And since we're on the uh, Fit Club podcast, I want to talk about that. Can you tell us your heaviest weight? 252. Wait 252. today. 160. I, I believe it's 167. Hey, what are we at? That's uh, 90 bills? 90 beans? 90 beans. Can't do the math that fast. So how'd you do it? I did it. Uh, I got home from Mexico on a Tuesday. Okay. Looked at a picture of myself. How many years ago? Two and a half. Oh. And on that Saturday, I walked into Weight Watchers hmm. and... Uh, that after the Saturday Weight Watchers, Monday I started a seniors fitness class at Garden City Community Center, which offers 
Zumba, Pilates, yoga, mm-hmm. stretch and strength, all that stuff. And, uh, and then a year later in the April, I joined here because someone at Weight Watchers said that Fit Club was offering a 21 day. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, what the hell? And I came yeah. and never, ever looked back. There you go. Let's backtrack this picture. Mm-hmm. So oh, up, to, up until this <laughs> picture, you thought, no problems. I feel great. I look great. Or did you slowly know that things were going in the wrong direction and the picture was the be all end all? Well, like what? Like in all honesty, yeah. if yeah. you have to go to a specialty clothing store, mm-hmm. then you know that there's a you yeah. know, there's an issue. And so how many years were you going to the clothing specialty store prior to the photo? Well, a lot. Years and years? Years and years. Yeah, yeah. So you knew, you you generally knew that there was an issue going on, but it really took that photo to kind of I spark just, it? Oh, wow. No. I just saw us on the beach. Someone had taken a picture of us. and. So what did, what did you think? Can you describe it? Do you remember exactly what you thought? I said to my husband, can I say the F-bomb? Hell yeah. <laughs> I said... How could you not tell me I fucking look like this? <laughs> and that was pretty much, and like I said, that was Tuesday, Saturday, I was at Weight Watchers. Yeah. So if your if your husband told you that, you would have been okay with that? Or I'm, would you, you, know or you know tell me, what? what did yeah, you say? How do you say I that? Love, I love uh, my yeah, husband. Yeah. You have to Maybe realize it's my second gym. husband, okay. but I love okay. him, <laughs> but he likes chunky women. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so for him, it was never, ever a problem, yeah, okay. but I had to... I come from a, a heavy family. Mm-hmm. So, so right from a young age, your eating habits were probably well, not my healthy. Mother, well, my mother was a Jewish cook, a good cook. She wasn't like a gourmet cook, but everything she made, we lapped up. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then you have your extras. You have your junk food and, mm-hmm. you know, it's... Yeah. Yeah. It's, Give me some Jewish foods. I don't know if I've ever had... Uh, a whole fish. Jewish a meal before. What's that? Well, Gefilte and, and Galit brought me some because yeah. my mom's not around to uh, yeah. make any. But yeah. Oh, yeah, she's she a Russian nice Jewish, enough. right? Yeah. She was very, very nice enough to bring me some gefilte fish. Which, yeah. Um, it is, okay, the, the old-fashioned way is you use sucker, okay. whitefish, and pickerel. Mm-hmm. You cook it, you boil it, and it's with onions and carrots, and my father and I were the only ones that we used to, if anyone Jewish out there, fish yuch, which is, everyone would gag, we, that was, we could just eat it all, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, it doesn't sound unhealthy. doesn't sound doesn't, unhealthy at all. Where's the, where's the unhealthy yeah. part? Where's the french fries know, on top onions. or something? <laughs> fish, white fish. Yeah, yeah that's, and, and then, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a really... It's a decent, decent fish. Yeah. Yeah. That, so that's, that's the, like, that's to like the Ukrainian, the pierogi, that's the Jewish. Sure. The chicken soup. My mom excelled yeah. in chicken soup. Yeah. And then there was the, just a whole lot of Isn't it funny things. how the best food is just pe- peasant food? Mm-hmm. You know, like a pierogi. Yes. Oh, it's yeah, just potatoes time. wrapped in dough, <laughs> yeah. rice wrapped in cabbage yeah. leaves, dill on everything. Yeah, it's like, basic. It is, yeah. and it's the best food. And we all just, and now we go to stores and pay way too much money for it. That's right. Yeah, big time. So Neri's story is is something similar. It's not that she looked at a photo, but she just got out of a relationship, and she was in Indonesia, and she saw a, a tower, like a like a clock tower, or something down the beach, and her mission was just to run from where she was to that clock tower. And ever since then, she's never looked back. So she was actually thirty, maybe forty pounds heavier than what she is now, and it's crazy to see those photos. Because I'm like, man, this is not like, well, it I looks know. like you, but it's everything. Lady, so. Were yeah. you with her then? No. No, okay. No. I knew her when she was like extreme dieting and extreme exercising. Yeah. So I seen her when she was at her like thinnest. And it's fun. Here's a fun story. We were at the bar one time. And uh, so we met and, you know, we didn't like, we didn't at all click. Like we kind of like were attracted, but we didn't click. And then she one, hated him. Yeah, that's the story. <laughs> she hated okay, him. that is it. Yeah, yeah, she hated but loved me <laughs> at the same time. I got the real so, story. A- anyways, I, I remember looking at a photo of her at the bar, and I looked at the photo. I said, "She's too skinny." <laughs> that's what I said. She's so skinny. That's what I said to myself. Yeah, she's like your husband. So I seen her at the lowest. <laughs> yeah, she was at her lo- like the skinniest, and now she's like at a good curve, muscular, tone, athletic look. But yeah, it's interesting to get to that point. And she had no clue. She, I remember, she would just eat. 
like a pizza. She said she sh- she would just sit there and order pizza with a two liter Coke. Mm-hmm. So I'm always about patterns, right? Like, you know, su- follow success. Everybody mm-hmm. knows the steps to success. So what is this? What are the steps to, to getting that big? Maybe we can help somebody and break that cycle. Like, what is it that you need to be aware of? Number one mindset. Mm-hmm. That is to me, the absolute, if you are not in the mindset 100%, mm-hmm. you won't succeed. Give me an example of what you mean by that. So, uh, my daily eating, um, other than the peanut butter I told you in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So in two and a half years, no chips, Mm -hmm. no sugar, no ice creams, no cookies, no shit food. I mean, Mm -hmm. I just, I eat clean every single day. Mm -hmm. And the exercise is just, um, when I reach my- Have you missed a day yet from working out? Like, did you miss a virtual at all? I don't know. Okay. Like la- like going to Mexico, yeah, I okay, missed yeah. almost three months. Oh. So, but this year I will not be missing three months there you go. since we're not going. So, I know, it's oh, so be- you usually vac- like live there in the winter months? Is that from November to February? Oh, what your life? Yeah, that's no. my goal <laughs> is to just be warm when January, February, March. Yes. Yeah. I feel yep. I feel 2020 is going to be everybody's fittest and fattest year yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody probably, got yeah. to their fattest, right? Like, what is your fat? And, you know, I'm not trying to say, hey, you're fat. Like, everybody has their version of fat. But you know, during COVID, everybody gained weight. Don't even joke. Like, we gained weight, and oh, yet I we did. were working out like mad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? And so, so, but now we're like, hey, we got nothing else to do. You know, I don't yeah. want to go shopping. Like, I don't want to wear a mask and be around a bunch of people in line and stuff. I just want to work out. Yeah. So it's like, man, we're gonna get super fit. That's this yeah. is how I feel. Yeah. That's every that, hell yeah. yeah. We're totally well. Yeah. For sure. And I, I I hear it from a lot of people saying, please don't shut down. Please don't <laughs> yeah, shut down. Yeah, exactly. Because nobody wants to go back into it. I feel like yeah. we all hit sort of a level of like yeah. this is as low as we can go before <laughs> there's issues with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. thank God we came out of it again. Oh, so thank God. We have to not stop this. We got to right. keep the doors open somewhere Absolutely. somehow. Absolutely. And we're so, making some adjustments. Let's talk about it so everybody knows. We're uh, going to go down to two per per group. Right? Yep. Well, yeah, that, that's always the intention. So yeah. what we're doing is we're we're going to open up an earlier class so that we can accommodate. So we tried the 720, and it just nobody was coming. Right. So we had wait list, wait list, wait list, wait list, nothing. Right. And so we're just like, okay, we need to figure out a better solution. This. So obviously people want to go earlier. So we're going to try and open up an earlier slot. We're going to go back to 45 minutes versus the 40. We just felt it was too rushed. And, um, and so now we're hoping that people will be able to disperse a little bit and then, you know, you won't have a three person class, right? Like Mm -hmm. we want to have at least eight, right? Nine, 10, somewhere around there. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's more, it's it's me personally. I don't, I don't care because I put my head down. You know what I mean? I'm super excited and sometimes I'm working out and I'm like, man, I should maybe give the coach a little bit more energy, but I'm at, like, this is how I work out, man. It's yeah. like when I play sports, I'm the same way. When I coach, I'm different. When I work out, I'm in there. I'm focusing on my reps, my form. I said, I don't talk a lot. Yeah. You I mean, know what I mean? The so coach can like, figure it out. Do yeah. If you jump. need me to, yeah. you're expect, yeah. expect me to be jumping around and woo, yelling like some people. I was like, no, that's not me. I, when <laughs> I coach, that's who I am. But when I'm working out, yeah. it's, you know, I'm the guy with you're the hoodie. Focused. Yeah, I'm the guy with the hat yeah. down. Like I just do, I just come here to do work, right? This is my time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what people want. So that's the challenge we have is you don't want to keep the classes too small because yeah. everybody wants the energy. Yeah, they want do. the people, yeah. right? Yep. But we have to, you know, be mindful of these rules now. So yeah. that's the challenge. So everybody out there who's watching, just so you know, we're on top of this every day they, we talk about yeah. it. And we're always going to be pivoting. Yeah, right? always. Try and, and, you know, nothing is – right now the times are just so – nobody really can predict anything, right? Yeah. You can only hope. And so we're going to try – and then we'll either go up or down. Like we just, we're going to keep going. So we got some viewers on here. Ashley Kapner says, hello. Same with Blessing. She's always on and she's always on the Zooms. Uh, two people that are always on is you <laughs> and Blessing. I would say that you two are probably like the most that have gone, through, especially right from the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then Amanda. So she's another uh, yes. big weight loss. You know yes, I, want, I just you, talked to her the other day. You know what I want from you is some advice. Some specific advice that you would give to anybody who's... <clears throat> And I always say this, we know what your motivation was, was the picture. A lot of people, they see it on Facebook and they're all like, ah, but they're scared, right? And without saying just do it, what can you tell people to sort of get them here or to even start somewhere else? Mm -hmm. What what do you tell people? So when I was growing up, Mm -hmm. I was always, I played all sports. 
Okay. Um, I, but I was always on the girls team that had the stronger girls. We were bigger. We carried a little bit of weight, but we were effective. And so when I reached my goal at Weight Watchers, um, they made me go up to the front and talk. And I said, aside from being in the right mindset and don't buy the junk crap that's going to tempt you at home. Just don't have it in your house. It's the, it, it is easy and it'll save you money. Yeah. Um, I said, you have to move. You have to get your body moving. Mm-hmm. It's, you are responsible because the diet isn't enough. It's, mm-hmm. it's a good start because like for me, it was uh, 50 pounds and then you know, then I was kind of like, I call this hard working because it is like, I try my best and yeah. hardest. Um, but you have to really focus. Now, a lot of people are way younger than me, so mm-hmm. I don't have that time to yo-yo anymore. Okay. I'm going to be 60. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I have to yo-yo just, dieting. You mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah. like I have to do it now and yeah. I'm doing it and I can't look back because, yeah. you know, I'm trying to, to add years, not take yeah. them off. So I love it. That's great advice. Yeah, Cause if you gain 10 pounds back, it's just, it just, you feel older, Well, right? You're yeah. walking around heavier and like that freaking peanut butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I needed it. Yeah. And you know what too, like we had Coralie on last, uh, last podcast yeah. and we're talking about how y- youth, you know, being young is like a currency that you don't even know that you have. And as you get older, and I'm experiencing this too, I'm losing my hair a little bit. I'm getting a few lines. So the second that I gain two, three, four pounds, I just look 15 years older. You know what I mean? So, and as we get older, yes, exactly. As we yes. get older, that's that little bit of weight makes us look. So you can't gain 15, 20 pounds like yeah. you did when you were younger. No. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah, you really got to stay tight. Keep it tight. So I love your mindset. That's great advice. It's probably one of the best that we've gotten here so far. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank I you. totally appreciate that. I think when you get busy, when life throws curves balls when they say hey we're in orange zone or yep. we're in the yellow zone or whatever zone they decide on what ne- what's happening next the key is that you just keep going you keep you, you know what i mean like you just keep going well like, don't and- stop because you know something happens or whatever like if you have the ability don't just like completely i, I you know i hate when people quit on themselves no. right if you're gonna right. stop then make sure that you're continuing doing something else well and everyone at my workplace, when I was retiring, they all said, you know, what are you going to do? What kind of plans do you have? And I said, uh, I'm going to get healthy. Mm-hmm. That was my thing. I'm going to have the time and I'm just going to do it. And you know, it's funny you say that because it's another thing that I always ask. I say, what does retirement look to you or to anybody? Because mm-hmm. I'm always concerned. Right now, my biggest focus in life is to make sure that my retirement from me and my wife is taken care of. That's it. So there will be an age where we can just do whatever we want. Be like you. I want to live in Mexico and just be warm during the (laughs) the winter months. Yes. But nobody ever, ever says, I'm going to get healthy. You're the only person that ever said that. He's like, I'm going to sit on the beach. Jan's another one. Do you know Jan? Work out with Jan? Yeah. Oh, she said that too? Okay. After she retired from her job with the city, she said, I just want to get healthy. We got to get her. Oh, right there? Yeah. John's 1000th. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She yeah. made some big time um, strides here, right? Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's funny to see. We actually have a lady that just started. She's uh, pretty heavy right now. Uh, in fact, I was actually concerned that this might not be the right place for her. But you know what? What you said with the mindset, she got a great mindset. She got a positive attitude. And I actually have to reflect back and say to myself, I shouldn't have dismissed her so quick because her second workout. You know, once I got used to the challenge, I've never coached somebody like that before. And then it was a little bit easier the second time around. Mm -hmm. So who knows? Maybe she'll be, you know, the next Carla. She could be. (laughs) I might have to mentor her. Maybe she won't come in with a walker. Yeah. Yeah. If she drops some weight and strengthens up a little bit. I mean, you never know. know For for her, her. the results are going to be leaps and bounds. And you're like, for you, like I've had clients that we've got her, you know, 100 pound loss. And it's so fulfilling. And like for the client, they absolutely love it. Like you couldn't make a bigger impact. Yeah. You know, if you get a bunch of people that are like average and you bring them to to above average, like that's kind of like what we do here, right? Like everybody's kind of here and we're going to bring you up to here, right? Right. right. If somebody like that, starting from square one, you know, injuries, you know, eating issues, whatever it might be. And then they like bound a lot faster Yes. and so grateful. Mm-hmm. And like the success, you, you, you see it every day. Like you said, you, you see the girl coming in and you know, one day she just walks in without the walker and you're like, Holy God, like I couldn't imagine going from a walker to an auto walker. I've been there. 
So to be able to walk on my own normally is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Or pills to no pills or whatever. Yeah. Like that's a big deal. Exactly. Right? Yes, absolutely. Hey, what's your support structure like at home? You you said your husband likes them a little bigger. Well, so he what does. was he like? Does he not like you anymore now? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. He's <laughs> Is he eating cheeseburgers, you're eating lettuce? Yeah. He's, he's how a, is it? At he's home? a dessert guy. Okay. So he has you know, he he likes his desserts. He will forego his dinner if he just had to eat his dessert. That would be fine with him. He does a lot of barbecuing, does a lot of smoking, mm -hmm. and smoking that's, meat. You mean? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Smoking meat. <laughs> okay. Um, not the ganja. <laughs> no, not the ganja. You could find it at vapeup.co. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at, when we're outside and if he's got the smoker on and I see a squirrel, I'm like, stay back. Yeah. <laughs> you might end up there. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm yeah. just kidding. Um, he uh, he always makes sure that I have the proteins. Mm -hmm. So he always makes sure that I have chicken in the freezer. Um, you know, mm -hmm. we fish a lot. So, mm, nice. yeah, so we like to, although it's a little not good weather now, but anyways, um, he just makes sure that I have what I need yeah. to, to eat. He knows that that's my mission. I'm and my lifestyle now. So I asked that question because we have, um, some women, let me say the women who don't have the support structure, right? The husband at home is like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I want to have, you know, I want to eat like we always have before. Mm -hmm. And the transition is difficult for the husband to do. And maybe I guess it goes the other way as well, but mostly this way. Um, so you, right from day one, he's always been supportive of you. He's like, do this, go to Fit Club or, or go yes. to Weight Watchers and I'm going to cook for you. And yep. yeah, so, yeah. okay. So do you think you'd be successful if you didn't have that support structure? If. If I didn't have that, I would probably be eating tuna and lettuce every day. <laughs> mm. Oh, so he helps you with the food. So he makes he sure helps, that you have the... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's a good cook. Yeah. And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of advice can we give to the ladies out there whose husbands don't do this? Because it's quite a bit. You know what I mean? Do it for yourself. Mm -hmm. No one is going to be able to do it for you. You have to do it yourself. But Carla... She's a mom. She has to feed her kids. She has to feed her husband. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you get past that? Right? Because they don't want to eat her healthy food. They don't want to eat lettuce and tuna. What do you tell her? How do we fix this? I tell them that I would say the same thing. You have to do it for you. Um, if your kids are eating craft dinner, then you make sure you're having a protein and some salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like and you know what? more than likely your kids will be eating that too. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, you know, little, show little, them from a young age. Yeah, the little monkeys, right? Monkey see, monkey do. They That's see right. you eating stuff. I Absolutely. Mean, I don't know. My kids don't eat like that though. No? <laughs> no. But they kind of do, man. They they kind of do. They don't like, I mean, Jet loves candy, right? Like he, okay, well, he's like, hey, you want a snack? I was like, we got bananas. Like this morning, <laughs> we got bananas. We got uh, cantaloupe. We want a yogurt. No, he goes. And then I bring him to the cup and I give him one, but I put it like a candy. And I put it, can you save it for later? And he put it in his pocket. And he was super fired up. So <laughs> I think it over time yeah. they're going to pick up, and they do pick up a lot of habits like the push-ups and squats yeah, and exactly. stuff like that. But eating is always yeah. the hardest thing. And so or before this, we were talking about like a meal plan. And all, to be honest with you, talking about a meal plan makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I hate meal plans. <laughs> like don't talk to me. about. We'll talk about nutrition and eating and, you know, how much tea is too much tea and caffeine. I love all that. I hate meal plans. And it's such a bait to get people through the door, and I hate it. I just don't want to write you a meal plan. You know why? Because the only plan that works is the one you stick to, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And so, like, we're doing this 30-day challenge, and mm -hmm. I, I, everybody's like, oh, do we get a meal plan? I'm like, no. I'm not writing another damn meal plan. It's not happening. But you know why? Because you're going to fall off, mm -hmm. right? So it's like this, Modify is how, it. this is how we're doing. We're going to – here's some recipes. Here's some macros. Make them work within, like, here's – and we're going to coach you on how to make that work. So that, like, for me, yesterday I got home, I ate a plate of fries. You know what I mean? Woke up even leaner. How did I do it? I did the work. You know what I mean? Like, I made it work within what is within my goals, right? So what is the meal plan that you need to do is you need to just, you know what I mean? Like, it can't be, for you, the rigid, like, that works. Yes. Right? The same thing. The same detox I eat a lot that of the I'm doing things. is basically what I do yeah. every mm -hmm. day. Yeah. So. It's good to, like, follow a plan because a lot of people if you give them too much flexibility then they completely fall off so i'm sure. like yeah here's here's a detox plan carla and then just follow the plan for for two weeks and yep. that's it but yep. after that i would love to teach you how to make it work and that's why we run these 30-day mm -hmm. challenges because we want to 
show you that, hey, it's not all chicken and broccoli. Like, you don't, yeah. like, I'm even leaner now, and I haven't had chicken and broccoli at all throughout this entire challenge. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, I've been eating the kids' macaroni. Like, what? See, I don't mind eating the same thing for mm. a few days. Ned. It doesn't, it's, yeah. it's worked for me. You need a platform. And up here, mm. if it's worked for me, then mm. I'll stick to it. Don't you think that's the way we should actually eat instead of having so much variety? Mm -hmm. Like, why do I got to have like bacon and eggs in the morning and then Chinese at lunch <laughs> yeah. and then Russian for dinner and the <laughs> yeah. next day I'm having Italian and yeah. the next day I'm having yeah. Jewish. Like, it just never ends. Never like, ends. just eat the same fact, shit for a week. It's you know probably I mean? even harder to do that. I find, okay, so I, I was like, man, I feel great this week. And I would say it's because I'm on a set schedule. Like, this is my set schedule. And before when I'm trying to, like, add a little bit of extra in there, try something different, I'm like, no, that just causes a bunch of confusion. Yeah, I don't man. know how to schedule my time. Like, wake up at the same time, work out at the same time, eat my first meal at the same time, go to bed at the same time, and just run that straight through Monday through Sunday. Well, that's why I asked you about the tuna, because yeah. you didn't have it on the list. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of thinking, like, well, is it okay for me to, mm -hmm. like... Like I said, the flank steak today, I don't eat that. So yeah. I just had chicken in the fridge, which mm -hmm. I just, and it was really good, actually. So I feel uh, like, I'm sorry, go ahead. And you know what? Sweet potatoes is something yeah. I stayed oh, yeah. away from. Okay. I Because I don't, I have this thing where I only eat color. I don't eat white. Okay. So no rice, no potatoes. I don't eat any of that. Mm -hmm. So sweet potatoes, sometimes I, I'm tending to group it with the potato, mm -hmm. but I mean, it is the quiche sure. was really nice, oh, yeah. and uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So I actually want to touch on your point about the meal plan. I'm glad you said that. <clears throat> when we were with uh, three years ago, when we were still NLT, we weren't even Fit Club yet. We were on when we first. So we weren't even. She might have been working for you. I don't even know. We're just members, and we went on the meal plan. And I remember we were on such a strict meal plan where she would boil eggs and write my name on it. This is your <laughs> egg today. That's it. No, don't even. You don't even get to think about how many you want. Yeah. One egg for Rick. Two eggs for Jen. Yep. One apple with a little note. Rick's apple. Yep. And uh, it was it was exactly what we needed in order to yep. um, recondition our habits. Mm -hmm. But what happens is this, and this is what I don't like about meal plans, is you start to get so focused on the meal plan that if yeah. you stray off, you oh, yeah. go into depression. Like yeah. yeah, you really hate yourself yeah. for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the transition from the strict meal plan, which everybody needs at first because yes. they need to do it, but you have to realize that it's going to evolve over time. Mm -hmm. And then you get into flexible nutrition. Mm -hmm. And once you get to the point where you're in a, uh, you know, a healthier a version of yourself, then you can enjoy a little french fries. Mm -hmm. You can have some uh, jujubes or whatever it is that you <laughs> like to eat, right? Nibs. nibs. Oh, yeah, nibs. <laughs> I haven't had a nib in three weeks, so... Yeah, I, I can't say the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? That freaking Amazon. You can order candy oh, yeah. off Amazon, oh, man. Yeah. I just get tubs of Twizzlers yeah. now. Oh. I'm not Carla, you think there's going to be malls in five years from now? Or do you think Amazon is just going to own everything and we're going to buy from Amazon? I was asking this question yesterday. You're asking someone who's never online shopped. Okay. So I would, I would much prefer to go into a mall mm -hmm. and see the stuff in person instead of ordering it and yeah. oh crap it doesn't fit or it doesn't look the same yeah. or mm -hmm. right yeah. yeah you know that's why i always get them to bring in samples yeah <laughs> the never ending that's the old dog yeah. the old dog in me well i'm going to disagree with both of you i feel like we are in a new world yeah i really do i think yeah. i think the malls they're going to streamline the best malls will survive west edmonton mall polo yeah. park maybe yeah. save hotel yeah. but all the little i think the little strip malls are mm -hmm. are all dying like my little mm -hmm. garden city mall oh well, garden well, they uh, just they just like the filipino community yeah. just soaked like a lot of money yeah. in well, their holy mackerel yeah, what do you mean like that new market money? right they opened up that um, Asia City. Seafood. Yeah. Seafood yeah. City. It's great in there. It's I've huge. I've never been in there. You haven't? No, because no? I know what I'll do. I'll be picking out every Asian desserts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. I've been in there. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. You yeah. know what? That's what they're doing is that they're trying to find anchor tenants. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's just like this mall has two strong anchor tenants, yeah. right? Everybody's going to need prescriptions and everybody's going to need food, right? So the anchor tenants are the ones that are supporting. Well, and that's also yeah. the demographics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and you're right. And and some that are, uh, you know, with niche or specific to demographics, I think will survive. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we already know malls are closing. Mm -hmm. it, this has been a trend for the last five years. And you know who's buying them? Amazon. Yeah. They're just making them to fulfillment centers. Yeah. But I tell you this, ever since I bought my condo, uh, I have not bought a single thing 
from a store other than Amazon. And I, and I did that for a reason. I did because I wanted to, I'm trying to embrace new and trying to embrace technology and I'm trying to be different and I'm trying to be youthful by not having an old mentality. Yeah, well, that's right or wrong, right or wrong, everybody to each of their own. And I just found that Amazon, uh, you know, next day service, Mm -hmm. the only challenge is where do you drop it off? Like, thankfully, I have this facility where (laughs) all my packages show up. What's that? A carpet? Hey, our rug just showed up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Here we go. Legit, our rug just showed up right there. (laughs) That's not supposed to be here for five more days. (laughs) See how awesome it is? Win. (laughs) <laughs> but uh, yeah, so anyways, and the reason I'm saying that is because I want people who are a little bit older um, to also embrace the newness of mm-hmm. nutrition and working out. Don't think that you're too old is what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll tell you this. Like the malls, they provide, especially families, things to do. So the challenge that a lot of mm, people are going to have this yeah. this winter is what are the things that you're going to do? I'm I'm trying to look at myself. What am I going to do with not being in Mexico for three months? Yes. So what are you going to do? Work out. I'm going to work out. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much so I'm I, saying everybody next summer we're gonna just get we're gonna ripped. we're gonna get some um even Jerome winter gear like really good <laughs> jacket pants yep yeah. to spend time outside, outside. yeah that's what so, we got to do we just got to embrace the minus 40 that's it man that's oh, gonna God. that's gonna be our uh, reverend we do oh my God. oh yeah you guys want to make a pact on camera right now that we're every <laughs> what do you want to say every second weekend I'm not saying we have to go together. We'll go for a walk. But we have to go for a walk yes. or the forks or something. Corey, you, you absolutely. Gotta, okay. In. All right. That's I'm the in. challenge. I got to find some boots on Amazon. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to get some snow pants. The whole shebang. Yeah. That's it. I'm in. We'll get we'll get uh, Fit Club uh, outfits. Oh, parka jackets yeah, and, and stuff. We'll, like and we'll one, rep. How about the onesie? I want a one. Like I want a onesie has. too. Yeah, dude. I want to flap them up on cheeks. No suit. I am female. <laughs> I'm already going through this shit on the boat. Imagine going to pee. Imagine going to pee. Well, we're on the we're we're going out on the lake right now, and I have a snowmobile suit from uh, I don't know 1960, and it's like one zipper. Oh, the good ones. And if I have to go to the bathroom, everything has to come off. Oh, yeah. Whereas yeah. you know you guys are different. Well, now it's time for you so, to invest in the new one. I'm sure they yes. have a ladies' version. <laughs> yes. You know what? That is an, a male advantage. Is is just standing up. Oh, oh 100. God. Amazing. Of course. Yeah. A lot of times, Nary will walk by. So now I actually close the door and I pee because I'll I'll sit back there and I'm like <laughs> making a full stream about four feet away, right? And kids are watching waterfall. I'm like, yeah, all right. Uh, all right. And Nary walks by. I'm like. Oh, this is probably not entertaining to her. Yeah, <laughs> so no. I close the door. I sort of got it. It's funny you say that. Like at my old house, I do the same thing. Yeah. I just pee from everywhere. You yeah. know what I mean? Doesn't yeah. matter. Now my new condo, I'll sit and pee because I don't want it to go anywhere <laughs> on my new floor. Nowhere. You so know you what tuck mean? it in. I tuck it. I'm sitting. I wait until my morning wood goes down and oh, then I yeah. pee. I don't even try and do the whole so like uh, position. It yeah. So no way, man. Oh, I got a, I got a whole man. new level of respect for my condo, hey. and I don't want it to be dirty. Hey, we got Hugo on. Hugo the boss. Hey, Hugo. Hugo. We haven't had a... Carly, you know Hugo? We haven't I had do. The He's a very crap. good friend of my son's. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yes. Nice. So I, yeah, they went to school together. Hugo, I miss you, man. You got to come yeah. back here more once in a while. Hugo, you haven't placed an order of Nary's bars lately. You must be ripped. Yeah. I asked him that, hey, because, you know, he's coaching, right? He's doing the belly he's bird. He's looking great. Well, I messaged, really I messaged him, hey, uh, you still shredding? Didn't even, he just, he just ignored it. Yeah, eh? Cause I messaged you? him something else after he responded within seconds. Yeah. So he's ghosting me. So Hugo, I want to know how's that bod looking underneath that hair? Does he still have hair? Or does he shave it on the regular? I don't now? Know. One time, so, <laughs> so fun story. Michelle had an issue with all the hair that was coming out of him. Right. And so he just said, dude, you need you, like, why don't you shave that thing? Then that day he was out. Is that like 40 yeah. year old ver- virgin? Oh yeah. Just, oh yeah. Like, I didn't even know Hugo was a human. I thought he was a gorilla. Yeah. And then he shaved. I was like, oh, you are a human. Yeah. Look at that. And that's what Rick's new rug is made out of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Can I say something? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, about the clean eating and okay. the exercising, um, so... Over a year ago, I was diagnosed with cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. And when my doctor told me that, I said to her, I'm not understanding this because I pretty much almost do not drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. She says, well, cirrhosis is another word for fatty. Mm -hmm. So that made more sense to me. Then I was accepting it because otherwise it was like, it can't be. So after... um, Like, she didn't give me numbers, but after six months of exercise and clean eating, um, she pulled me into the office because there was still a problem. And so she said that my number at the beginning was 96. 
and a 94 and a healthy productive liver is 36. So I was quite, it was huge. Mm -hmm. After six months, I went down to 43. Nice. And now I'm at 33. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, you, you ever use a scale here? Uh, yeah. So what's your visceral fat? You, Nine. You know, when you started, what was hey, it? Hey, nice. It, it hasn't changed hasn't in changed. a year. Yeah. I don't understand that because... So you know what visceral fat is, right? Yeah. Basically, yeah. The deep deposits of fat that sit on your vital yeah. organs, right? And so maybe you've just accumulated so much visceral fat over the years that it's just stuck there. And like, it's just so... So how do you get rid of solidified. it? Solidified. Uh, well, I mean, the lipotropics, they're supposed to be getting deeper into that liver. Um, the only time I've ever seen my visceral fat go down was when I did the whole foods diet. And I like all I ate was nothing processed at all. So like no breads, no grains, nothing like that. It was just meat, vegetables, fruit. And that was the only time I've ever seen my visceral fat go down. And intermittent fasting, actually. Intermittent fasting. Dig, I think dig, doing what you're doing stores. consistently for a little bit longer, yeah. and you'll see it go down, right? Yeah. You you I, you did so much so fast, and now you're at that point now yeah. where you're just going to do little tweaks moving forward. Yeah. Like you, I guess there's it'll no take, more it'll major probably changes. Take a full year <laughs> yeah. before you really start to see yeah. like an upper percent visceral fat. So what should what should seven. it be? Seven, seven is generally what we've like. I don't know what the number is. Oh, uh, actually, no. Is I've that looked the it same up. for it's, male and female? Or? Yeah, I've looked it up. I think the the normal visceral fat is around five to seven. So okay. for men, yeah, oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, you're high, buddy. <laughs> I started when I first started. I was somewhere I don't know under just under 20. Now I think the lowest I've been has been 11. I'm probably sitting around there. I just I can't get into that single digit though. So yeah, it just says rating oh. between one and two inches. Doesn't say a number. Yeah. So I know I know most people that mostly men when their body when their visceral fats are in and around the the. 18 to 20, 22 percent, they um, they generally have a heart attack. Yeah. yeah, like everybody that I've known that's come here, they've had some type of like heart condition. Okay. Yeah, so they're working out. Like you know, there's if you're working out versus not working out, I always say you it's only positive to do another workout. There's only good benefits unless you're injured. You know, you got a broken leg and you're doing box jumps, right? Obviously that's negative, but when you're working out, it only does good for your body. Yeah. And so it might hurt at the time, yeah. but yeah. When it's over, right? It's always yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how's your functional movement been since you started working out? Like when you were heavier, you probably couldn't do much, no squatting, no lunging, no crunches. I mean, probably everything was limited. So now, now it's, much better, although I was saying to you the yesterday that my Achilles on my right foot, it just all of a sudden like it's your flooring at home. It's my flooring. Yeah. You Which, are you just working out on carpet? Yes. Yeah. Downstairs. Yeah. Nobody has it nice like the blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you, build up resiliency through that. So you just need a little extra stretching, icing, yeah. massaging, that kind of yeah. stuff. And it'll go no, down. No, it's much it'll, better. It'll build up. Yeah. 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 I mean, the hill. Oh, yeah. If that's, that's a cap not, killer. yeah. If yeah. that's not enough of a, you know, yeah. Yeah. that's a reward. When you look at your um, peers, mm -hmm. people your age, do you feel like you look a lot different than them? Yes. Yeah. 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 When's your birthday? June 28th. Ooh. June 28th. So we got some time. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, Larry Kimkovich? Yep. Yep. I think that guy is just like a stud, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. Straight I call him handsome Larry. Oh, yeah. Yep. And I, so we we're uh, in uh, side by side change room. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, Larry, how old are you? 63. I'm like, goddamn rights. You know what I mean? I'm just thinking, so that's uh, like 20 years away from me, 18 years away. And I'm just thinking, if I can look like this, mother. I'm golden, you know what yeah. I mean? So he inspires me. He's the type of guy, I look at you and I think, you know, look at that. So I, I look around at other people who are, because again, I go back to what does retirement look like? And I look at people who are 65, you know, the classic retirement age, whatever it's supposed to be. And I just think you're dying. You're, you're literally, I can see you dying while you're living and you're, now you get to enjoy your retirement. You know, so I, I really think it's impressive that you've taken your health, uh, oh, thank you know, you. by control. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You're going to live to be 100 late. and you'll be warm in Mexico and your life yeah. is going to be awesome. So. You've only been yeah. doing it for two years. Yeah. You know, most people are like, oh, I'm too old at 57. You know what I mean? Like, look at you I started it. And then it's it's a matter of just take out that inner more. strength and yeah. just get it. Yeah. Do yeah. it. So listen, we're at our uh, 45 minute mark. There you go. Any other message you want to give to anybody out there? This is a great place. I mm. totally appreciate 
everybody, everybody. Mm. Uh, this is crazy. I've never ever done anything like this before. So um, I just keep coming here and yeah. you guys are, you're encouraging and that is a huge, huge part of everything. And uh, yeah, I, I appreciate the knowledge that you guys are, you know, trickling over this way so awesome that's wicked thank you all right guys listen do us a favor like comment and share this video it helps out with the algorithm and it gets us out there a little bit more i think today's uh, podcast is a good message that a lot of people should hear and or you can go over to uh youtube and uh subscribe to our uh youtube channel fit Actually, club we have a mission what is it so we have our mission we want to get Love to ten thousand. so forget about youtube we're just going to focus on facebook forget you we, we want to get to 10,000 likes. And right now we're at 9,200. So what we need wow. you to do is go to our fan plate page, Fit Club, and there's like three little dots on the side and it'll say, invite my friends. Hit select all. Invite your friends to like our Fit Club page. And there it is. <laughs> and we're out. And we're done. And we got a mission and everything. Thanks for coming on, Carla. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you guys very, very much. That was fun. Woo. That was fun.